1480 News Now, leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. For 1480 News Now, I'm Phil Kuhn. Indiana has recorded 30 flu-related deaths in the past week, raising the number to 66 deaths in the state this season. The latest flu report shows 26 of the 30 deaths were among people older than 65. That age group has accounted for the most deaths this season. Six or more flu deaths have been recorded in St. Joseph, Kosciuszko, Lake, Allen, and Tippecanoe counties. The report says the percentage of flu-related illnesses reported fell to under 5% last week from over 8% the previous week. Average retail gasoline prices in Indiana have risen 9.4 cents per gallon in the past week, but are still averaging just $2 per gallon, according to Gas Buddy's daily survey in Indiana. That compares with a national average that has fallen 5.4 cents per gallon in the past week to $2.12 a gallon. Prices yesterday are $1.36 per gallon lower than the same day one year ago and are 52.1 cents per gallon lower than just a month ago. Your weather is coming up in 15 seconds. Get the vehicle you want at The Car Company in Warsaw. You'll find more makes, models, colors, and styles of high-quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs at half the price of new. And now your new full-line Suzuki dealership for motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. The Car Company on US 30 East in Warsaw. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, tonight will be cloudy with a low of around zero. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny and cold with a high of only 12. And Wednesday, we should see temperatures rising slightly with a high of 17 and mostly sunny. A community luncheon celebration to remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. will be held Monday, January 19th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Manahan Orthopedic Capital Center at Grace College. There will be music, great food, and activities appropriate for all ages. Special programs for elementary age children will be led by Grace College students. Former Warsaw Community Schools educator Marsha Cook will be sharing her experience as the first African-American teacher within the school system. Her insights and stories provide a local face to the civil rights legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This community celebration is free and open to the public. For 1480 News Now, I'm Phil Kuhn. Thanks for watching.